know what? I, look at you girls. I, have they talked to you yet? Have you th three girls been talked to all night? Oh, that's so great. Hello, sisters. I love it when I see a, a couple of girls out. Ooh, it's a girls' night? Yeah. Forget bros before hoes. It's Janas before winas over here. <laughs> well, are you girls, now, are you girls' best friends? Oh, that's awkward. Okay, sorry. There was a pause. That was a long fucking pause. My fault. I shouldn't uh, You are like, I guess. I guess we are. It's harder for girls to make friends than it is for guys. That's why I'm always like, yay, when girls come out in groups. It is hard. Because when I first moved here, I can say this for a fact. I had no friends. It was tricky. As a girl, it's hard to make. Guys, you make friends like that, right? Two dudes can sit down in a pub. They don't have to know shit about one another. And within five seconds, they're best friends because they can talk about what? Football, yeah. Anywhere else, people just say sports, but in this country, fucking football. <laughs> I love it. You watch two dudes talk about football within three seconds. They're high-fiving and hugging, right? Some guy's crying about a goal he saw scored 17 years ago. <laughs> right? They're instant friends. Instant. It's like the equivalent of watching two dogs sniff each other's butts. It is that fast. <laughs> yes, we're friends. I'm done. You know, like... Girls, girls, so much more of a commitment, right? Let's be honest, it's like three lunches, two secrets, one gift, <laughs> then maybe we like each other. That's why a girl keeps her best friend for so long, we just can't fucking afford to make another one. It's an investment, right? If you want a new best friend by 12 years old, you're like, what's more important, a new best friend or a retirement home in Spain? What do I want? What do I want? That's very nice. My best friend's name is, uh, is Jody. That's her best. Uh, she's the best. She's, she's very funny. She's, very, um, she's a very well-endowed girl. Uh, her boobs are bigger than her head. I tell her that all the time. I'm like, oh my God, how do you stand upright? Like, she gets so angry. She's like, fuck you. My boobs are not bigger than my head. I was like, well, if your head was like a normal size. Uh, she's a huge, big head. Uh, she is, she's my best friend, though. I do, I do love her. She is a, a stepmom now, which is so crazy. She married into a nine-year-old. Ooh. No, so weird. At the worst fucking age, too, right? They're like smelly and hormonal. You're like, oh my God, do you have a nine year old boner? Get out of my face. Like, it's so. No, children are lovely in the future. I just used to be a teacher, so I'm fucking done with them. Uh, I did. I was a teacher for a small period of time. Do we have any teachers in the room? Yay! Oh, thank you for cheering. Look at that. Cheers on both sides. Okay, over here, what do you teach? Don't say children. Don't be those assholes. What do you teach? Art. Okay, so. Not really teaching. Okay, and then... No, it's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I used to be a drama teacher, so I fucking majored in skits. You know, don't worry about it. The drama teacher, I was like, let's just create the illusion of learning and get the fuck out of here is what I did. Over there, what do you teach? Science. Si Look at proper science. How do you fucking diss that one? Science. That's nice. So bigger kids, bigger kids? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, bigger kids, younger kids? Both. Oh, okay, you're a little bit of everything. Fucking show off. All right. Uh, it's art. Well, co fucking cover it in glitter. You're done. Okay. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm still going to get my ass kicked by her after this show, aren't I? Watch. Her name's going to be Angie. I'm fucking sorry. I'm sorry. Good for you, teachers. Good for you. Uh, my favorite day, I always like telling a story. My favorite day of teaching, because I was also a supply teacher, so I would show up now and again and just like, you know, try to fucking survive. And uh, <laughs> so mean, right? When you're a supply teacher, too, you walk into a classroom, and it doesn't matter. This is international. The first thing you hear is the cackle of all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like they're prepping. And then, and then what do you do? You switch your names, right? That's what you do. They're all like, <laughs> I'm not Lisa, I'm Lindsay. <laughs> I know, I'm like, <laughs> like I give a shit what your names are. And I make them up as I go along. Uh, but my favorite day, my favorite day in Canada on Valentine's Day. Now, I know it's different here, but uh, in, on Valentine's Day in primary, we all have to buy Valentines for every single person in the classroom. Do you do that here? No, that is far too much emotional display, isn't it? That is... And, but to be fair, I know a lot of them are all girls' schools, all boys' schools, but it was all mixed. So every year, every, like all through primary, you'd have to go the night before, you'd buy like a packet of 30 Valentines, and it would be like, you know, Garfield, and they'd say cute things like, love you like lasagna, or, you know, cute things like that. So I went into a classroom, it was Valentine's Day, and um, they, had, they had run out of Valentines, right? This one little girl was very upset because she didn't have enough for me, so she was like, she wrote me a Valentine, handwritten Valentine. This is what it said. It said, rose are red, veals are blue. Chagray is sweet, but not as sweat as you. I know, I know. And then the best part was Miss Smith. Happy VD. 
Okay, see, I've dated myself there. You laugh. Some of you. How many people in this room know what VD means? Yeah, yeah. yeah look at Okay, yeah. What does VD mean? Oh, it's a venereal disease. I like that you were specific, though. You were like, from the tests I've had in the past, what I've learned is... VD means venereal disease, everyone, just so you know. If everyone's trying to be tricky, right? Some guy, yeah, I got some VD. Get the fuck away. You don't want to mess with Dean in that situation. Uh, VD means venereal disease. Hey, I know it, now it's STI, sexually transmitted infections. They used to be called STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> but God forbid we offend the whores. So we've changed it now. It's just a little infection. Don't worry, it'll clear up there. But that was, that was my, one of my favorite memories. Are, are, we, are we talking? Yeah? No, go ahead. What did you say? Oh, I fucking love it when Scouse girls talk. Let's do this. Don't you fucking... Ah, kick off, kick off. I love it. If I could choose any accent in the UK, it would be Scouse, just so I could say that you fucking... I love it. I One time I heard a girl in the loo say this. I fucking come on. And I didn't know what that meant. I was like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? And I was like, oh my God. I'm, yeah, I love... The Scouse accent. Anyway, uh, I butchered it. I know, I'm a Canadian trying to do Scouse. I'm, you fucking eh? Uh, that is, that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs>